Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn how to graph a cosine function. And for cosine function graph, we must know its basic graph. Where is the basic graph of this function? Here. 0 to 2 pi. Middle point. And again, we divide this interval into some interval. And there are number 0 pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So we have four intervals of the given interval. Okay. So graph passes like this, and this is the basic curve for the cosine function. So this we will be using in each case. Let's try this one. The amplitude, the number before the function is written always amplitude. And period, what is the period for cosine function? The same, which is for sine 2 pi. So we write it here 2 pi, and coefficient of this is given 1, so divide it by 1. So this becomes 2 pi. So period is with us 2 pi, and this is pi, the midpoint, amplitude is 2, right there amplitude. Now we have to graph. You can see here, let me find out the step a little bit. Yeah, almost there. Now, midpoint of this interval, which is pi over 2, midpoint of this one, which is 3 pi over 2. This is cosine graph, and cosine starts from 0. This is the maximum value at 0 for this graph. Just like here. So graph will start from this point. So we have 0. At 0, we have 2. At 90, 0, then minimum value, then zeros. And at this point, it is uh, maximum value again. Because 0 and 2 pi are at the same point in the unit circle. So this is the graph for y is equal to 2 cosine of x. Same way we can graph this one. Amplitude is 2. Let's change this amplitude to 3. Because already we used 2. I make it 3. And this is 3, and period is 2 pi over pi, which is 3. By this number we are dividing, so this gives you period. Okay. Mark it, and divide this length 0 to 2 pi in four equal intervals. First one is midpoint, which is 1, and this is a half 0.5 and half 1.5. So we divide 0 to 2 in 4 equal intervals and amplitude is a 3. In case amplitude 3, so we write 3 and negative 3. Look at this one, the shape of the graph. It depends on this curve, cosine. And cosine curve is like this. So this way this graph will be drawn, but we have to follow the instruction given in the question I mean we label it properly. So for this one, graph is starting from 3, maximum value, then 0, minimum value, 0, then the maximum value. Okay? And then join these points. Shape in each question will be the same because this is a cosine curve. This is for one complete period of the given function of y equal to 3 cosine 5x. Any question? Okay. Label it y is equal to 3 cosine of 5x. 
Now, I make a small change over here in the same graph. If it is, there is given minus sign before. Okay? Minus sign, we do the same process. But only because of this minus, we shall reflect the graph. This gives us a reflection. Reflection about x-axis. Look how to reflect it. We take a mirror image of each point with respect to x-axis. This is x-axis. What is the mirror image? Here, you see, this point, its mirror image will be here. This point will stay here. Mirror image with respect to this line will be here. Point stay here, and its mirror will come from over here. Understand? So graph it now. So this black graph is for what? Which function? Y is equal to minus D cosine of phi x. Understand? You may be asked, I make another change in the same function. For example, you are given this question. Plus 1. Plus 1 means we have to move upward direction one unit. Vertical shift. So in this case, we have vertical shift over here. And vertical shift is 1 that we are moving this graph y minus d cosine phi x one step up. One unit upward direction. So what will we do here? We move it above. This is a 3. So it will be here almost, I think, number 4, one unit up. So each point will be moved one unit up. This is negative 1, negative 2, 1, 2, so mark properly. So we move it now. Look, this will this point, because this black graph, we are shifting black graph up. How many units? One unit. So shift up, this point will come here. Okay, other point will move here. One unit. One, two. Negative one, negative two. Okay. And then this one unit up, so it will be here somewhere. Black point. This one will be here. And same is this point will move over here somewhere. So we are making translation. Along the y axis, one unit upward direction. So now we join it. Okay? What about this point? We have to move this one as well. Okay? We move this point upward direction, this here, this over there, this one, and this point. So, Graph will go like this. Okay. This is a blue graph, black graph, you are shifting up one unit. So write down its equation y is equal to minus the cosine of phi x plus 1. So this gives us a translation along the y-axis. Vertical shift, 1 unit. So if it is 3, we move with 3 units, and we look at this construction structure of the function and accordingly we it. So in the beginning, we ignore this negative sign, just draw a graph without negative sign, then reflect it, then move it up or down as per the given instruction in the question. Okay. Let's have a question now on y equals 1 plus 2 cosine 3x.
do it with your son. Try it. This number gives you vertical shift, which is 1. And amplitude is 2. This is amplitude. And period is 2 pi divided by 3. This number over here. Same way in the graphic, we have 0, amplitude is 2, because we have a shift up, so this is going to be, I write show this up here, negative 1, negative 2, this is 2 pi over 3. Okay. Find, uh, divide this interval in four equal subintervals. Four equal subintervals we divide. Okay, this class is divided by two. This is pi over three. Calculate these points as well, please. So you can write pi over six and add them. 3 pi over 3, we cancel pi, 3 pi over 2. It's a, look at the shape of the graph. This thing will give you the shape of the graph. And the shape of the graph is like this. Cosine function is this type of graph. Okay? When you have uh, your arms like this up, this side and the other side, so this give you like so of the sign. Okay. At zero maximum value will be one, two, then zero, then minimum value, zero, then again maximum value, which is here that we comes here. No garbage. Very good. This is two cosine of three x, and plus one mean move upward direction. I do one thing here. I move here one already up. I change it to minus one. So make the vertical shift negative one. So the graph will come down. Okay. So vertical shift I change. This is negative one now. Negative one mean you are shifting graph one step in downward direction. So this point two will move here. The other point will move here. And this point will go there. This point will come here. And the point is here. The red points you can see. Now I graph it. These points. This is y equals negative 1 plus 2 cosine of 3x. Any question here, students? No question? Let's go. Next example. Let's mark. Okay, here, look at. This was vertical shift, and this is a phase shift or horizontal shift. So write down all these components, and then we shall graph. What is amplitude? Yeah. This number is amplitude plus. And period, this is a cosine function. So cosine function period is this coefficient we divide, so this is 2 pi. 
vertical shift. There is no up down. It is zero at the moment. And phase shift, we put this thing is equal to zero. X plus pi over four is equal to zero. So X is negative pi over four. X is negative pi over four. Phase shift, we are starting point is negative pi over four. This is the domain values. You know, X values are domain values. If you are somebody asks you what's the domain of this one, domain is zero to two. And here domain is zero to two pi over three. And you can write here domain in this case zero to two pi over three. So depends on the question, according to the question you can answer. Starting point is negative pi over four. So what is the end point over here? Negative pi over four plus two pi eight minus one seven pi over four. You know, multiply this four with this one. This is eight, eight minus one, seven. So seven pi over four. This is the end point of this one. 